Hey, look after that last Samran. Do you like her, Dad? I do. Not many fellas have got a pig like that, especially one as can pass gold trinkets. Eh, hey, it's like that and in Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah, yeah, I hadn't thought of that. And the giant come looking for Jack when he nicked it. Yeah. Maybe Jack were a dingle, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three, five, four, fun. That swine is mine! Who are you when you're at home? The name's Matthews, and I've come for my property. Yeah, my name's Dingle, and you're on mine. Property. Now sling it, Ook! Sammy. Unleash the hounds. What? Dogs. Aye, aye. A kinky video. What's going on my rounds? Um, I think this is something you should deal with. It's our turn, well, it's your turn, to organise the bun fight for the Area Association. Organising a dinner dance for vets is not top of my list. I would have thought this sort of thing would be food and drink to a tate. Pun? Not a very good one. Well, what am I supposed to do? You deal with it. Me? I'm giving you more responsibility. Look, Dingle, I'm a reasonable man. That's your arm, look. I would attach to that beast. Your missus sold it to us. She didn't know what she were doing. Well, that's your fault, old lad. I've offered a full refund. And I've said no. My dad can't sell it because it were a birthday present. It wouldn't upset me and our books, would you, Dad? Oh. oh, I wouldn't. I still can't see why it means so much. Blood ties. Uh, dad, he's got a finger missing. That's right. Pig at it. Get away. I were in hospital because of it. The wife were distressed, that's why she sold it. Well, maybe your best shot of it, then. Well, like a dog to me. Sorry, pal. No go. <laughs> now, get lost. I'm begging you. Please. Please. No. A grave? And I'm the Grim Reaper. No, you are a tosspot, Butch. Yeah. Right! That's it! Leg it like a yellow belly! That was just a warning, Marlon. The next time it's gonna be serious. Ooh, I'm shaking. What is it? Do whatever it takes. Well, that costs you a lot more. Listen, it'll be worth it if Frank gets 20 years. What about the girl? She doesn't matter. Just put Frank away. Gotcha. I've been looking for you, Chris. Don't you have a knock? Well, Zoe didn't mean to snap. We were just watching some old uh, holiday videos with Dad on, you know. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kelly. It was rather upsetting. You're not the only one who gets upset. What's the matter? Oh, as if you care. Take the rest of the day off. If you're under the weather. What's the matter with her? Ah, she's a teenager and a female. What? What other excuse does she need? Sometimes I despair of you. This is absolutely fantastic. Roy Pet, what a lovely surprise. I hope you're doing all right. I hope you don't mind coming. I was sorry to hear about... You went away. We didn't know where you got to. Yeah, well, I got a bit mixed up after what had happened. I did too, Pat. I'm glad you come. Come sit down. So, how are you feeling? You're looking a bit better anyway. Well, they can go care of me. I know, I can tell. Looking a bit more like your old self now. Oh, well, that's the trouble. Yeah, but that's a good thing, isn't it? Well, I'm starting to understand. Understand what? Everything that's gone on. I did something terrible, Biff. Where did you get this? It doesn't matter. It means everything's going to be all right, doesn't it? Dad's still not here. 
plenty of people still believe he killed that woman and dumped her in the quarry thinking it was Kim. It clears his name. We can finally get her out of our lives. I wanted you to be here when I called. What was the name of that CID officer? Cook, wasn't it? What are you doing? I'm just going to go make myself a coffee. It's a lousy feeling, isn't it? You wake up knowing you've done something bad or stupid, and you just wish it was all a dream. Oh. It's been like I've been living in a dream, Biff. Like I've been watching myself. I could see this person, Jan Glover. Sometimes she was sort of locked in the past, and sometimes she wasn't. I could watch her. I knew what she was doing wasn't right, but I couldn't stop her. I had to let her do it. Now the world and his wife think I'm not all there. Well, I wasn't. You didn't know what you were doing, Jan. Oh, I did. The people here helped me understand it. You see, I was trying to start all over again. In my mind, I was going back to when I was happiest. Only making sure nothing went wrong this time. I was taking David somewhere safe. Back to where he was born. It wasn't David. I know. It was little James. Oh, I hope I didn't frighten him. No. Of course you didn't. He was with his granny. She asked you to organise a posh do. But why not me? Well, Sam would have more ideas. <sighs> We're gonna have to sort something out. There's always in twisted nick among. I could help you if you like. <laughs> oh, thanks for your vote of confidence, Pad. Sorry, but where do I start? Venues? Brilliant. Uh how? But where? I'll get the phone book. Uh, brilliant. Can I have a word? Don't mind me. Make a list. To Biff. It's nothing to do with him. Oh no, he only got you pregnant. That's right. Tell everyone. It's him that should be told, shouldn't it? He doesn't want to know me. You don't know that. Just talk to him. No. Kelly, you coming in for me advice? Do you ever listen to me? Biff is not interested. You don't know that. What's the point of me getting tied down with someone I'm not that bothered about? He's all right, is Biff. <laughs> I'm not desperate. Aren't you? Not for a fella, no. You're going to get rid of it, aren't you? You can't do it as a way of getting back at him. For the last time, Mandy, I'm not thinking about him. I'm thinking about me, and I want a life. And what about the baby? There won't be a baby. And Linda was such a good girl. Going the way she did, I just couldn't take any more. Yeah, we know that, but it ain't gonna help you going over it, is it? It's all in the past. We're here now. No, I do have to talk about it, though. That's what went wrong before I tried to pretend nothing had happened. And the more I pretended, the more I believed it. And then it got so as I didn't know what was real and what wasn't. Is this what they've been telling you here? Anyway. They listen more than tell you things. It's funny. I haven't actually said it out like this before. Seeing you again. You understand, don't you? I think so. I know you do. You could have talked to me or Dad, couldn't you? We're all too close, love. Frightened of saying anything in case it affects the other. What the blazes you doing here? Go on, get out. Now. Why don't you just tell that waste of space to get lost? He asked me to come. Don't you ever think? Don't you? You're the main reason she's in there. Don't talk so soft, will you? Just when she wanted us all to stick together, what do you do, eh? You bring a tarp back to the house and let her sleep in our Linda's bed. Do you think I'm proud of that? I don't give a monkey's how you feel. 
Now you've got the brass neck to use Jan to ease your conscience. And what are you doing right now? Do you know? Yeah, well, go on then. But it's not going to change the fact that your own wife had talked to me and not to you. Don't you ever give up? It's right, Dad, she said. She doesn't know what she's saying. Yeah, well, you believe that, Neddy Phil, make you feel better. But don't worry about me. I won't be coming back to see her. I wish I'd shown you the damn thing. I went straight to the police. Why didn't you? Because I thought you should know. It vindicates all you and Dad ever said about it. It confirms everything. It's not proof. You've seen it with your own eyes. What more do you want? Video evidence has been slung out of court before now. Who knows, it might even be a look-alike on the tape. It's her. You and I know that, but... You've seen how she can twist the police around her little finger. Oh, so we forget we've ever seen it. No. We use it to get some real evidence. Oh, Zoe, I'm glad you're still here. Can I have a word? Well, this is a first. You going without some attempt at sarcasm? I'm saving myself. I'll come round to your place later. So, um, you've sorted out your little problem? No, I'm not prying. And I know Christopher's your brother. But if you want a sympathetic ear, I could think of better people. <sighs> Virtually anyone. Like you? I'm sure your dad would have liked us to be better friends. Are you? Well, I suppose that's why I want to ask you something. I wondered, would you like to be my bridesmaid? <laughs> yeah, OK, maybe you're too ancient for that, but, um, matron of honour, then? Thanks. Still, if you think too much has gone between us, uh, I felt I should ask. OK. I'll do it. Why? Because you asked. Well, thanks. Perhaps we can still be friends after everything. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> you make it sound like you're just catching a bus or something. Lots of people have terminations. You read about it all the time. Well, this isn't an agony on page in a magazine. There you go. What's this? Uh, venues I thought you could ring round. I'm busy. Please, uh, I've got to make the calls. All right, if I get a chance. Mwah. It's a wonderful thing, love. Paddy, go on. It's not very nice being outcast by your own family. Now, have you considered they could be doing you a favour? Oh, I. See how you like it with a psycho like our Butch Aslin, you? Yeah? It's given him a purpose in life. They could always move on. What? Go back to me, Dad? He's worse than they are. Anyway, got a job. First prop one I've had. Not jacking that in. And then there's only one thing you can do. You must try and reason with them. Talk reason to our Zack. I get more sympathy out of one of the dogs. Tell him he's wrong there, Mr Turner. The dogs are under strict instructions to see him off if he shows his first on our land. Isn't this a bit infantile? Infantile? He's transgressed. What if we all carried on like him? We'd be total anarchists. Huh? This is the rule of law, Mr Turner. <sighs> you break every law in the book. Tell him, tell him I'm talking about Dingle Law, Mr Turner, and get us two pints. You don't approve, do you? Well, I wouldn't, but... I knew you didn't. It's what's best for you is all that counts. That's all right, then. I've decided. But it's not that straightforward, Kel. I mean, you don't even know what to do or how to go about it. No. Tell you what, I'll help you. You know, find out what you're doing, that. Oh, you're a real mate. On one condition, that you think about it. I have. Well, it won't do you any harm to sleep on it for one more night, will it? <sighs> if I could sleep at all, it'd be something. It's rough for you, innit? Either way, you know where I am. A new life. All right. Just so long as it's a good milker. Otherwise, it's dog meat. <sighs> it must be wonderful to be in touch with the natural world. Oh, never mind your smart talk. <laughs> you won't be here if you weren't drawing a nice wedge. <laughs> Well, it's seen precious little so far. <laughs> Blow you, then. Clear off. There's not wrong with young calf, anyway. Hi, Grandad. Oh, you've been chucking your money about to that supermarket with look of it. <laughs> Go on, then. You might as well give us an hard time and all. Look, he don't mean half of what he says. I know, he's all right. He likes you. Does he? What does he do when he don't like you? That's my mum. Look, do you want a cuppa? I bet it's not offered you one. I don't think you'd approve. Well, I buy the tea, so it's down to me, innit? Then I accept.
I hope Sammy lad. You know, uh, you're the only one of them I like. Well, I think it's uh, I think it's wicked the way they treat you. You're always always making fun of you. It's not right though, is it? But it's not though, is it? Mr. Pollard! Mr. Pollard, come quick! What's the matter? He's talking to me. <sighs> Good grief, I thought someone was rifling the till. I can't get on. <sighs> What on earth are you talking to him for? Duh, he's my cousin. I don't know who to feel the most sorry for. I know what you're thinking. How can you let him live like this? Well, what can I do? Well, your parents, then? Well, my dad's not around and my mum don't want anything to do with him. Everyone's got responsibilities. Look, if you're going to start preaching, you can bog off. I thought you were all right. <laughs> you're just like the rest of them, stuck up. Go on, get lost. You have to admit, it's a bit of a mess. Well, this is how he likes it. <laughs> how can anybody like this? How do you think I feel? He won't even let me clean up. All I can do is the shopping. Uh, I might have known you'd have your feet under the table. Back as a butter, lass. You drink. Thank you. Don't expect a butter. I'm suspecting a thing. No, no, she was full of herself. It was a masterstroke. You're saying you'd be a bridesmaid or whatever lulled her into a full sense of security. Well, it wasn't a deliberate ploy. I think I would have agreed anyway. You're joking. Why? I don't know. I... Because I feel bound up with her. Oh, come on, Zoe. If she's getting to you, the sooner we get her banged up, the better. Have you got the tape? Oh, God. I left in the pub. What? Scary films are you. I feel safe. Ah, so do I. <sighs> Give over, Butch. How did you know it was me? Well, it's a while since Bella Lagosa was marauding these parts. You don't get much further than Robbles feel these days. <laughs> Scared the life out of our Marlon, though, won't it, Dad? It will if he's as soft as you, huh? Isn't it time you let it lie? She still don't understand these dingle grudges, does she, Dad? She will, lad, in time. Can't wait. What was that? You better go and see. Hmm? I I'm watching this. But I can't go out in this. Huh? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing, sat there? Oh, do I have to, Dad? Yes, you check the front, I'll check the back. And would I get any discount for the numbers involved? No? Well, at them prices, you must be jesting. Daylight robbery. May I remind you that I pay you to serve here, not to be Paddy's social secretary. You only want the charge, Mr T. I'm not interested. Fifteen quid a head for a complimentary glass of wine and a buffet. I'm sure Paddy's colleagues can afford it. Still, fifteen quid for a slice of boiled ham and a bit of salad. Mandy, would you attend to the customers, please? I'm going to need some time off, Mr T. Oh, dear. How will we cope? I've got to go out shopping, you know, get some posh for a vet's do. And I don't want to let Paddy down. But what do I wear to a vet's do? Green willies and an arm-length glove. <sighs> Have same again. You see much of Kelly? Why should I? You and her had a fling, didn't you, before you did a runner? Yeah, that's right, we had a fling. You still like her? She's all right. Why don't you ask her out, then? Has she asked you to say this? Of course not, no. Just thought it might be better than sitting here all on your tod. I'm bad news. Ask anybody. Give us a bite, Mandy. You're getting knotted. There's a slimy person there wants serving Mr T. Oh, for heaven's sake. Must be nice to be wanted. Uh, at least the rest of them dingles aren't in. You're a dingle. Uh, there's dingles and there's dingles. You look how I feel. Rassed off. <laughs> uh, you can run, but you can't hide. What are you on about? When I look at you, do you know what I see? A man alone. Yeah, and that's how I like it. And do you know how I know? Because I am too. That's right. We've got a lot in common. 
I don't think so. No, me and you, right, we could sit at opposite ends of this bar and go off into the night. Ships at pass. But how do we know that fate hasn't thrust us together? Because fate's been bad enough to me as it is. Come on. You've got to get a grip on yourself. Oh, that's rich, coming from a spud basher who lives in a caravan. Is that how you see me? That's what I am when you think about it. Look, Marlon, take no notice of me. I can't get the doll and I'm sharing a room with a bloke who talks in his sleep through every orifice. Hey, look, you're not referring to my paddy. And Betty's been good to me. But there's only so much sympathy I can take over Linda. I just want to get on with my life. Let me get these. Let me... Go on. The only way is up. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <coughs> Don't do it, Dad! You great tater! Did you find out? Only you, you great lummock. Hold still, darling, while Daddy has a look. We know you're there. It might be our Marlon come invading us. I should have pronged you with this. Blood and sand. Can't you take no for an answer? I beg your pardon? I said, can't you take no for an answer? I'll do you, pal. Nobody tampers with our pigs. Harpoon him, Dad. What you got that metal detector for? I thought I dropped some of it earlier on. Oh, I like what? Look, Dingle, just sell me that pig. I'll give you whatever your lad's paid for it and enough for a round of drinks. What about the expensive vet bills? What vet bills? Priscilla's constipation. Constipation, you say? Oh, yeah. She's bunged up like a gun. But that doesn't need to bother you, does it? She ain't your beast, is she? So you'll not sell? No, we won't. Well, I'll just say good night then. I'm sorry to trouble you. And don't come back! He'll be back, all right. I know what's on the tape, Chris. I just wanted it back. Fine. Take it. I thought earlier you were going to get involved in one of your tiresome games with her. You really think this is just a game? It seems to give you both some kind of perverse pleasure. No. I loathe her. She destroyed Dad, but... First, she had to humiliate him, and not content with that, she then proceeds to rob us of everything he built up. I know all this. Then you know how devious she is. In fact, only you and I really do. That's why nothing could be left to chance. We've got the tape. Oh, better than that. We now know there's one person who can put her in the frame. The police will deal with all this. They tried. Failed miserably. But this time, I'm going to nail her. And he, well, he's going to make sure it happens. Mm -hmm.